Imagine a future where electronic gadgets repair themselves just like living organisms or synthetic jellyfish destroying toxins in the water bodies or a virus program to kill cancer cells or fuel produced from yeast and a time where the whole world's data is stored in a teaspoon of DNA. Sounds exciting, right? The future of your imagination is possible all with a little help from synthetic biology, an interesting field of science to harness the tremendous power of nature to solve all our problems. This field has caught the interest of the richest man of Asia and the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industry, Mr. Mukesh Ambani. Stay tuned to know more. Mukesh Ambani, a chemical engineer by training, is a firm believer in human development driven by technology and the best business one can have is helping people using technology. The largest private business in India, Reliance, has been focusing on synthetic biology. Its insights from the fields of petrochemical, big energy, textile and environmental businesses are being applied to fulfill its ambitious and simple goal of powering a clean planet with synthetic biology. Reliance is now planning to introduce a bio-innovation scene in India to challenge Asia's other key players like Shenzhen Synthetic Biology Association and the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. The initiative consists of more than 150 scientists and researchers who have recently developed a technology that turns the carbon dioxide waste from the refinery to bio-crude oil by combining the waste with algae and sunlight. Currently, Reliance is leading several algae-based projects including the Waste to Health project intended to turn organic waste into aviation fuel and kerosene. This project to make bio-crude and other chemicals using algae can contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions during the traditional way of fuel production. Ajit Sapre, head of Reliance's research and development, said that this is just one among the many kinds of innovation and this is a kind that makes some impact on the society. At Sin Bio Beta 2019, Shantanu Das Gupta, who leads biology R&D at Reliance, said that the new synthetic biology-driven bioeconomy would support a clean environment as well as would uplift India's economy. He believes that India's rural communities can be uplifted along with its biotech sector. Reliance Industries has taken a step towards uplifting synthetic biology and explore what it has to offer. Not only is it going to make an impact on the environment, but also the biotech economy. Do let us know what you think about this initiative in the comment section below. Do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. We will be back with the latest news, job opportunities, exam alerts exclusively for you.